Hi, okay, so I didn't vlog this morning, but we are on the way to Abilene, Texas. We're gonna play McMurray University this week. And I didn't vlog this morning because I had a little bit of a rough morning. But we're now somewhere outside of Memphis, stopping for Starbucks. It's gonna be a good week, I'm excited. This will be the first of the college shows from the app because that we did a couple of months ago. So it'll be good. And I've also got my little women who rock pin on because I needed a, a confidence booster this morning. <laughs> we're listening to the Elizabeth Holmes Theranos podcast in the car. My mom and I are big podcast people when we're doing big road trips. And I am obsessed with this story. I wasn't a true crime junkie until now, but here we are. I'll let you know. We've been watching The Dropout on Hulu and now we're listening to The Dropout podcast on Spotify. So yeah, keep you updated with any crazy things that happen. But so far it's been a pretty normal road trip. Mom just had to explain to me the landscape of Seattle and where the roasteries slash reserves are because I couldn't remember which one I played at a couple of years ago because apparently there's another one and then I didn't know what the difference was between a reserve and a roastery and it's a whole thing and I have a headache from it so bottoms up well we made it to the hotel about an hour ago there's some questionable artwork behind us We've made it to our hotel on our first night stop to Abilene. We're in Sulphur Springs. Is that right? Texas. We're in Sulphur Springs, Texas. And I am doing my math homework. And I also realized that on the day of filming this, uh, two years ago today, my album, my first album came out. So, we. Well, we're back on the road. Ah! No, leave me alone. Okay, we're on the road. Now we're gonna be in Abilene in like less than two hours. And little sister is going mini viral on TikTok. So that's so cool. Thank you to all the rad cool people. Oh, you can only see my head. This is really weird. <laughs> Thank you to all the rad cool people like who really seem to like it and love it. That's so cool. It was such an awesome surprise to wake up to. I had a thousand followers on TikTok. That's so exciting. Now more true crime podcasts and Dot's pretzels. I blame Raymond Hayden for my inevitable demise because these are crack, these are drugs, these are not good for you, but they're so good for you. Mom, do you have any thoughts for today? No, it's too early it. for Dot's, that's my thoughts. <laughs> Bars! <laughs> Can I sample that put that in a song? So we made it to Abilene and I took these really awesome fun pictures. You're welcome. Look at the little car. It's an apple. I love that. Also, I look really shiny right now because we just, I just went to Sephora, had to get some highlighter, but I look sweaty. Now we're jamming out Fed up with my destiny. to Amanda Marshall in Abilene. All right, so we're back at Airbnb. I am currently doing homework, applied mathematics for musicians. Not much is different from last night. Uh, I'll take you on, should we go on an Airbnb tour? Oh no. <laughs> Am I, is this me procrastinating from my homework? Maybe. This is the front room where all of our luggage is. Do you like my, uh, my cotton candy suitcase I got for my 10th birthday, probably something like that. Here's our kitchen. Oh, the whole <laughs> the whole floor of the Airbnb is kind of on an arch, so it dips down over here and then it dips back down in the bedroom. On our snack table. Here is the kitchen. Here's the bathroom. Oh god, I'm so bad at vlogging. I'm really tired. It's really cold in here. Um but I'll sit back down to do a little life update. Oh, it's so much warmer in here. That's so nice. I remembered to do this because my mom just told me I got a new YouTube subscriber. Yay. Thank you to whoever you are. New subscriber. You're awesome. But yeah, not much, not much happened today. We, we stopped in Sulphur Springs, Texas last night. Uh, we drove about eight hours from Nashville to Sulphur Springs and then it only, it took us less than four hours to get from Sulphur Springs to Abilene. I probably spent an hour and a half in the car responding to all of the amazing comments on Little Sister. You all are so awesome. I'm so glad that you love it. It's so exciting. Uh, so I did that. 
we listened to more of the of the Theranos podcast. I don't know what I missed when I was asleep. Uh, oh, just the doctor? The doctor? The the chief lab scientist. What 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 they say? She was wrong. <laughs> like yeah no uh so we listened to the theranos podcast we got here we drove all over abilene like 27 times because we our airbnb was not ready for us yet when we got here we got to abilene way earlier than we thought we would i know it's freezing out there uh then we we had coffee at monk's coffee shop in downtown abilene if you're looking for a good latte in Abilene, that's your super spot, cute. super cute spot. And then we went to a market and then we went out shopping. We went to Sephora and Ulta and TJ Maxx. We went to a market and got some food for dinner. Food, if you can call it that. We were, we decided to make some chicken Caesar salad, but then uh, it doesn't, it didn't seem like the chicken was fully cooked. So we stopped eating it. We might go out to Chick-fil-A later if we're starving. We each have our respective drinks. I've got some Guava Goddess GT Kombucha. Kombucha, why did I say it like that? Kombucha, GT Dave, I love you. Please sponsor me. I drink your kombucha almost every day of my life. Thank you and good night. Now I'm just doing some homework. And tomorrow we're gonna go to McMurray University. I'm going to speak to the music major department in honor of Women's History Month. I'm so excited to talk to all the rad cool students there. Yeah, I'm probably gonna pull up and all the students are gonna be like, who's this 17 year old punk who's gonna talk to us? Um, but I'm, I'm super excited. McMurray, thank you in advance for having me and my band. I'm so excited. It's gonna be a really good day. And yeah, I'll keep you updated if anything crazy happens tonight, but I don't think it will. I'm gonna finish my homework and then I'm probably gonna play with my new makeup that I got and then go to bed respond to your Instagram messages. And respond to my Instagram messages. Apparently I have a new Instagram message. So rock and roll. Hello. I will be going on stage with my hair like this. Thank you very much. It's morning. The boys have landed at the Dallas airport. I'm eating a muffin. Uh, yeah. Gonna go over what, get to the school at like 3.30. And then I will speak, and then we'll play a show, and it'll be really rad and awesome. I walk through fire for you, just let me do you. I can see all this, and I'll ever do. And then you can totally take a solo here. Well, we're on the way to McMurray. Happy International Women's Day. Thank you very much. Uh, the boys got here a couple of hours ago, so me and JD and Aiden just ran some songs for a little bit. Now I'm going to go speak to the music business program at McMurray. I'm so excited. It's going to be awesome. And then we're going to play tonight. It's going to be really exciting. And I have some really sparkly eye makeup situations going on. So it's a good day.
to the ball, man. Uh, we just finished at McMurray. It was so much fun. Everybody was so awesome. I loved getting to talk to the students. We had a blast playing at their auditorium. Great sound, great energy, great vibes. But as you can probably hear in my voice, I'm very tired. So I'm gonna go take a shower because it's cold. Well, we're in Dallas. We're heading back to Nashville today. We're not gonna get back to Nashville. I think we're gonna maybe, hopefully get back to Memphis. <laughs> but we had a really great time last night. So now my mom and I are driving back to Nashville today. We've been on the road for, I don't know, three-ish hours. We stopped in Dallas. Enjoy this nice selfie we sent to my dad. <laughs> Very exciting. I think I'm gonna do some driving once we're done here. And, yeah, it's a really good time. So I don't know how much I actually documented, but we got to our hotel room at like, what time did we get out cold? <laughs> we probably got to our hotel at like six, six or seven. And uh, I just fallen asleep like an hour or so ago. Uh, I was like just chilling, having a good time, watched a movie, fell asleep like 30 minutes ago. And apparently there's a fire in Hot Springs, Arkansas, where we're staying for the night, so, woohoo! Back in bed with Fluffy. With Fluffy. Uh, now it's gonna take me like 11 years to fall back asleep. <laughs> I was so scary, too. Like, I woke up, it wasn't even cold, but I was like, I, I was paranoid. I was watching a movie earlier, and I thought I kept hearing noises. I was like, so my first thought when the alarm went off was there's an intruder, somebody's here. Uh, so I like woke up, I started shaking. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And then it was just a fire. And then like three fire trucks came. Now they're leaving. I think everybody's going back. But uh, the real question is, we'll see how long it takes me to fall asleep again. Okay. Okay, good night. <laughs> Hi, I didn't film anything else for this video. I'm currently editing this video. What time is it? It's 10.13 on March 20th. We've been back for probably a week now. I caught a cold after coming back from Texas. And I haven't, because of COVID, since we've been inside for two years and haven't done anything, it really took me out. So I was in bed for a couple of days and... I don't like just sitting in bed doing nothing, so I was a little anxious, but I'm better now. I'm now editing this video, <laughs> so I, I I did film anything else after this. So we found out that the fire in the hotel, the morning we were checking out, we were walking out in the lobby, and someone said, oh, did you guys hear what happened last night? And we were like, no, what happened? Somebody turned on the hot shower and then just left their room it did take me 11 years to fall back asleep. I can confirm that. But we're now back in Nashville. Yeah, not much has happened since then. Just glad to be back, but excited to get back out on the road very soon. And we're going to be doing lots more college gigs in the near future. So stay tuned for that. I'm really, really excited to share some stuff that is in the works with you guys soon. So yeah. You all are awesome. McMurray, thank you again so much for having me and the guys. We had a blast. We would love to come back. And yeah, peace and love, homies.